Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, The Everyday Non-Expert here, and today I wanted to talk to you about my top 10 FOC comic picks for orders due next Monday, February 6, 2023. Normally I give a DC disclaimer, but everything from DC sucks this week, and I'm not touching any of it. It's super lame, and I'm actually honestly kind of upset about it, especially with uh, how lame James Gunn's announcement was there's some cool stuff i guess but seriously like you had all this time had all this build up and that's what you came up with it's quite pathetic honestly okay anyways uh, i do want to tell you i do have a card here so you can check out my 1k subscriber giveaway you can win a couple slabs subscribe to the channel like comment all that good stuff and also one last thing please check out my paypal and venmo in the description of the video if you wanted to support the channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's get started. And this is actually going to be a quick video because most of these are cover buys. So, uh, the first few especially. And we have the first one, the Super Scroll uh, Alex Ross. This is Fantastic Four, number five, and I am working on a video that ha that covers all 37, what books they are, and if it has any spec value just in the book itself. So, so make sure you're subscribed to, so you can see that video when it comes out. Number 10, uh, Alex Ross. Number 9, Alex Ross, Ultron. This is Avengers 66. This is actually the last uh, issue of Jason Aaron's run on the Avengers. And I, I think I read somewhere the story continues on Avengers 15, but I'm... Or... New Avengers 15? I don't recall. Anyway, um, so that was number nine. And number eight is another one, and it's Mary Jane and Black Cat number four. Uh, again, no spec book worthiness of those books from what I saw. And, uh, but Alex Ross, Black Cat Virgin. Black Cat is all the rage right now. And I especially know that if uh, she comes into live action, that's gonna go up oh pretty much anything black cat a lot of the uh black cat's one of those characters where they even whisper all my black cat books sold so fast for the price i wanted to it was crazy uh, and then i think this is the last one before we get into some actual books we have uh x-men number 20 alex ross this is the dark phoenix version variant and again no um no spec worthiness on the book, just you know the the Alex Rossness of it. So there we go. We're through there, and now we're at Amazing Spider-Man 21. This is the Disney 100 Hulk variant, and it's Goofy turning into the Hulk. So honestly, to me, I like that this idea. I like these, but I'm kind of a uh, uh, Disney fan. I had annual passes growing up as a kid, so you know, it, that's I don't think that speaks for itself. All right, after that, we have number five, Scarlet Witch, number three, and this one actually does have a have some spec value at least. And there's a possible first appearance in here of Sathya, leader of Bakke. I don't know how to pronounce any of that, so um. There we go. I don't know how big that spec's going to be. And that's why it's the lowest actual spec pick on here. But I did want to show you that there is an Alex Ross of Mephisto. And uh, we're all waiting for Mephisto to come to the MCU. We have been since uh, WandaVision. So here's looking at you, Eric Voss of New Rockstars. So um, yeah, number five was Scarlet Witch number three. Number four is X-23 Deadly Regener Regenesis. Number one, and there's a first appearance of a character called Haymaker, and they actually apparently have a personal vendetta against Laura. I think that could be really fun. So it almost, I wonder, is it going to end up being her saber tooth? So that would be interesting. And number three, we have Moon Knight, number 21. And this is an act actually a... Um, 
possible first appearance, not sure. It just says a sinister Pied Piper plays a deadly tune. And I can't recall anyone with that. So it could be a first appearance of a new character. And again, with Moon Knight being a Disney Plus show and there being a uh, possible appearance of him in the movies with his characters and the the second season, I think I'm pretty sure is already approved, greenlit. So who knows who's going to show up where. So number three is Moon Knight number 21. And the spec this week was so bad that actually there are facts. The two facsimiles are my two and one. And number two is a Darkwing Duck facsimile. I loved Darkwing Duck growing up. And you can't get that book definitely for four bucks. So if it's just something you want for your PC, especially with the new run having come out, that might be something you're interested in. You can go ahead and check that out for a cover price of three ninety nine. And coming in at number one is X-23. Number one, this is the facsimile edition. So if you ever want it, and this is not the first appearance, which I believe is Nyx number three. I don't remember off the top of my head. So anyway, um, you're going to want to pick this up if you want to hold the actual, well, facsimile edition of her number one. We all know, again, I think I mentioned this in a previous video, that with Hulk 181 and Hulk 180 even getting out of reach, that a lot of people started going towards Wolverine number one. So getting in on some of these number ones, um, and now I know it is a facsimile, but who knows what could go, what the secondary market's gonna decide. Also, if it's just something you want for your PC, that'd be really cool too. If, if you like this cover and this book and you don't care that it's a facsimile, I could actually see people who want to get this graded at a 9.8, try to get it graded at a 9.8 to, sh to like show off because that white is going to be hard to find um, for back from t uh, 2005, which is almost 20 years ago at this point, and get that 9.8. And then and there's no fun buying a 9.8. So anyways, uh, especially if you're just doing it for appearance reasons, you can buy this facsimile, get it graded, and there you go. So, alright, uh, that's my number one, the X-23, number one, facsimile edition. Alright everybody, that's going to go ahead and do it for me in this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please hit that like button by clicking that thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel to see more great comic book and collectible content like this, and comment down below, let me know what you thought. And also, don't forget, I do have that 1K subscriber giveaway. I'm a third of the way there. I'm chugging along, trying to get there, and slowly but surely. I think I've gotten, like, uh, 12 new subscribers in the last few months. Uh, so, <laughs> let's see if we can't keep this train of going even more. So, um, also check out my PayPal and my Venmo for uh, links where you can... Support the channel if you decide you want to do so. I eventually want to buy one of those nice cameras. Not too nice, obviously. Just a, a camera that's, you know, not my phone. And then uh, a better mic, because this is better than nothing, but it's like a $10 mic I got off of Amazon just to get a little bit better sound. So I like to do a whole bunch more production stuff. So uh, anything you could do with the PayPal and the Venmo would be going to the channel, and it would be much greatly appreciated almost said muchly so anyways I, apparently i'm i'm done running i've run out of words to say so i will let you go uh thanks again for checking out this video uh you can click the card here to check out my uh 1k subscriber giveaway and you can check out and what you could win the two, two slabs and uh also the one i'll put here is probably for a uh, new comic book day coming out um Actually, that just came out today, Wednesday. So, thanks again for checking out the video, and I'll see you later. Bye.